the Emicole Pipe Penetration Kit instructional video. Upon opening the box, prepare to adhere the corner surface ports to the wall. First remove the cap from the port and the plastic tab opposite the cap. Do this for each of the ports you will use. Next, remove the blue cap from the Emicol 455 port adhesive and surface seal. Then remove the smaller D caps. Place the tube set into the injection gun and dispense the material onto a piece of scrap cardboard or a paper plate. The top of the supplied box works well. 455 will begin to harden in just a few minutes. It's best to work in small batches and make more as needed. Place the decaps back on the tube set of 455. Then, mix the two parts together until they have a consistent light gray color. Coat the bottom exterior of the surface port. Be careful not to block the hole on the bottom of the port. Remove any loose debris from the pipe penetration area and apply the ports. Be sure the surface is dry before applying the ports or surface seal. If it's not dry, wait a few days or use a hot air gun to dry the area. Apply one port to the top and one to the bottom. Wait 15 to 20 minutes for the ports to dry, then mix more 455 to create a surface seal. Apply the 455 with a plastic trowel to create a seal all the way around the pipe penetration. The seal should be about an eighth of an inch thick and spread the width of the trowel around the wall in the pipe. Allow the 455 surface seal to cure for about 15 to 20 minutes before injection. Next, place the black locking nut over the top of the mixer nozzle. Remove the blue cap and the smaller D caps from the Emicol 120 tube set. Then, tightly screw the mixer and nut onto the tube set. Insert the tube set of Emicol 120 into the injection gun and purge any air that may be in the tube set. Attach one end of the supplied hose to the mixer and the other to the bottom surface port. The hose will attach by simply applying a little pressure to the port and nozzle. Begin applying consistent, steady pressure through the gun. The repair is complete when material begins flowing out the top port. Quickly stop the flow of material by clamping the hose or inserting the caps that were originally attached to the ports. Your pipe penetration should now be sealed. For more information on this or any of our Emmy Cole products, please give us a call at 800-844-2713 or visit our website at www.emmycole.com.